Okay, so today I want to talk to you about a very beautiful book in mathematics. It's called The Art and Craft of Problem Solving. It's by Paul Zietz. It's a very curious book. If you go through its chapters, there are material on number theory, on geometry, on calculus, and uh, it touches upon topics from Olympiad mathematics and strategies and concepts in mathematics. In particular, I found the chapter on calculus very interesting. From uh, school years, we learn that integration and differentiation are inverse processes of each other. They're like dual processes. One of them undoes the other one. So in mathematics, there are such processes abundantly available. For example, if you take the square root and then take the square of the square root, you are basically making this dual process. You are undoing the effect of square root by square rooting. So they're like inverse processes, taking integration and then differentiating the same thing. Uh, differentiating the integral gives you back the original function. That's the content of the fundamental theorem of calculus. Now, if you think about it carefully, differentiation is about taking the tangent or taking the finding out the slope of the tangent line to a particular curve. And integration is more related to taking the area under the curve. So one might ask, one might be curious that why measuring the slope of a tangent line and measuring area are inverse processes of each other. They seem to be two things that are world apart. So Paul Zietz talks about such questions and makes you think about mathematics in a very beautiful manner. There is another part of uh, mathematics where I have found dual processes. It's in platonic solids. There is another book, maybe I'll talk to you about that in another day. It's called Excursions into Mathematics. It's not Excursion in Mathematics. That's a different title. It's Excursion into Mathematics. And there, there is a beautiful chapter on platonic solids. And you encounter these dual solids. Uh, for example, the cube and the octahedron are dual solids in some sense. You can cubify the octahedron and then octahedrify the cube and you get the same thing again and again. This is a very fundamental idea that flows through all parts of mathematics, that there are dual or inverse processes in different uh, areas like calculus, like number theory, like geometry. And if we understand how they interact with each other, we get a much deeper understanding of the subject. So uh, if you love to read about such things, um, go ahead and you can get this book. Um, by the way, all the books that I review here and all the things that I talk to you about here, uh, no one is actually sponsoring this stuff. Whatever books we love, uh, we would like, we like to share that with you. If you want to learn more about such beautiful things and more do some exciting mathematics and learn some good mathematics, then go to the link in the description. You will find more uh, resources there. Okay. Uh, take care and uh, I'll see you in the next video.